Welcome to the Cake Bread Kitchen. My name is Brian Streeter. I'm the culinary director at Cake Bread Cellars. Get some chicken thighs. We're gonna braise them in piperad, and it's a Basque pepper stew. They'll go really well with the wines. So we're gonna season this with salt and pepper pretty liberally on both sides, and then freshly ground black pepper. Get the other side. We're gonna set that off to the side. Cut them in half. We're gonna slice these. And a few cloves of garlic. Gonna slice this. Okay. All right. Now we're ready to head over to the stove and start cooking. The cooking technique on this recipe is we're braising the chicken in this stew. One, we want to do that over high heat. Okay, so pan should be nice and hot. A little bit of olive oil on the bottom. And we're gonna sear chicken breasts. And I wanna sear them on the skin side first. Don't crowd the pan too much, or they're just gonna stew and steam in here. You can see how I've got enough space in between here that I'm not lowering the temperature too much. Efficiently brown, we're gonna turn them over. So we'll put that in there. The onions, the peppers, um, even the sliced garlic, is, it's all going in at one time. Put a little bit of salt in the beginning. You can, you can add more at the end, but if you put a little bit in the beginning, that's gonna help draw some of the moisture out of the veggies. That's gonna take about 10, 15 minutes. All right, so I've been stirring this occasionally. You can see that peppers and the onions are starting to wilt down. They've wilted down quite a bit. I'm going to add some tomato. Uh, so some crushed, peeled plum tomatoes. Stir that in. A little bit of Spanish paprika. And then this is espelette pepper, which is a Basque uh, pepper that's spicy, sort of like cayenne, but it's also it's got some fruitiness to it, so again, if you didn't have access to that, I'd go ahead and use cayenne. And we're gonna let that simmer. Put in a bay leaf or two into the pot. The peppers have a lot of sweetness to them. Tomatoes have some sweetness to them. And so we're adding a little bit of red wine vinegar just to add a nice balance to the dish so it's not sort of one dimensional. The acidity of the, the vinegar is gonna Add some balance to that sweetness. Plus we got a little bit of spice from the paprika and the espalette pepper. Everything's simmering. At this point, what I wanna do is I wanna take my chicken thighs and sort of put them back in the pan, evenly spaced, and you can even sort of snuggle them down into the peppers. We wanna turn this down just to a low simmer and put a lid on it. And we're gonna let it cook for about 25 minutes Chicken will be nice and tender at that point. It's also gonna release some of its juices into the peppers um, and make that stew much more flavorful. All right, it's been about 25 minutes. So everything's simmering. And I think we're about ready to serve it. So I'm gonna take this over on the island. So, smells wonderful. Make sure that you got sort of a nice saucy consistency. I would boil it down a little bit more if I had to, but right now the sauce that's in the bottom of the pan coats the veggies. Um, I'm gonna taste it, see if the seasoning's good. You can get a little bit of that spice. It's got some nice, nice flavor to it. I also get a little bit of the vinegar, so it's got some nice balance to it. If you're gonna make this at home, you know, if you came over to my house, I would probably put something on the table and I would just bring this directly to the table. I'd serve some steamed rice, green salad, a bottle of Two Crease Pinot, and I think uh, you got a pretty nice meal planned for, for the evening. So, hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Mm -hmm.